Hey, what's up guys? Chad Tronic here with my very first how-to video on how to set up your brand new Oculus Rift. It's super easy, it's super quick, and we'll get you gaming in just under five minutes. Okay, so you just open up your Oculus Rift. You're going to notice there's a box attached. It's got these ports on the back. Um, you've got your HDMI, you've got your DVI, you've got your USB, and you've got your power. It's going to come with a couple of different power supplies depending on the voltage on which the country you live. Use the appropriate power supply for you, and you'll be all set. Um, now, if don't be intimidated by this. If you can hook up a computer monitor, you can hook up an Oculus Rift. I'm not going to go a ton of in a to a ton of detail on how to hook this thing up. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's uh, really just plug and play at this point. Um, you're going to obviously want to hook up your USB, um, and depending on what kind of graphics card you've used, your computer setup, you're going to want to either go with HDMI or DVI. Um, it's pretty much your preference at that point. Um, so you're immediately going to uh, notice a couple other things with your Oculus Rift. You're going to come, it's going to come uh, preset with these, with the A cup lenses. Um, there's going to be a couple other sets that come with it. And basically what you want to pay attention to is the A cup lenses are designed for 2020 far sighted vision. The middle set B is designed for moderately nearsighted users. And the shortest set C is designed for very nearsighted users. So depending on your vision, you're definitely going to go with the appropriate lenses for you. Um, I'm moderately nearsighted, so I definitely had to go ahead and put the B lenses in and uh, make sure to take the appropriate time to do so. It'll really help in your overall experience and uh, may even reduce some motion sickness. Okay, you've got your Rift hooked up, and uh, last thing I'm going to do here is plug in the USB. Um, now, one thing you definitely want to make sure is that Windows properly detects and sees your new device. And the one way you can do that is by pressing start and going devices and printers. And you're going to see some various things. Uh, probably immediately you're already going to see a new display called Rift DK. Um, that is normal. And for the tra head tracking functionality, you're definitely going to see uh, need to see another device come up here. And I'm just going to go ahead and plug in uh, the USB. And you can see Windows is automatically detecting a new device, Tracker DK. We're going to make sure that that properly shows up along with the display adapter. Um, if you do not see one of either of these two things, your Oculus Rift will most likely not work. Um, so things to check out if these things aren't working, um, if they're display related, make sure you have it plugged into the right video port or using a good video cable. And for the tracker uh, DK, make sure you have got a good working USB cable and also a good working USB port. Um, a couple things to also uh, make sure of. There's been some known issues with the development kit to have some issues with USB 3.0 ports on some systems. Um, so if you've got a USB 3.0 port, uh, make sure and try and see if you've got a USB 2.0 port available as well. Just go ahead and try and make sure uh, to do the process of elimination. And the most important thing is you get these two things detected. Okay, now the next thing is probably that's the most important is to get the SDK from the Oculus website, which just basically stands for Software Development Kit. And what you're gonna, where you're gonna go to get that is Oculus Rift's website at developer.oculusvr.com. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that link in the description um, for your easy navigating. Um, you're gonna need to make a developer account and register your Oculus Rift device. And I've already done that uh, beforehand, so I'm just going to go ahead and log in. After you've done that, you want to go ahead and navigate to the Downloads section. And you're going to see the various SDKs for the different operating systems. I'm um, Just for this review uh, overview, I'm just going to assume that you are using um, Windows. So go ahead and download the Oculus SDK for Windows. This is uh, for things to start. The only one you're going to need um, no need to download the demo as it actually is already included in the uh, regular SDK. So just go ahead and download that. Um, it's about 80 megabytes, uh, depending on your download speed. It could take four to five minutes. Okay, so we've got the SDK downloaded. I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. And I'm just going to extract it to my desktop. You can all obviously extract it wherever you'd like, um, as long as you've got that copied out. Okay, so basically the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run the Oculus Rift configuration utility and we're going to go ahead and make sure that it detects our Oculus Rift. Now it does. 
Um, and in some cases before, I actually had a question mark here, and that was due to a bad USB cable that I had gotten. So um, if you've got an explanation point, it's probably due to the same reason you didn't see either of those two new devices added just before. Um, troubleshoot it out. The Oculus uh, Rift Forums is a great resource um, if you run into any trouble. Also, the support team is uh, pretty good. So go ahead and give them a shout. Um, don't be afraid to leave a comment in this video as I will make sure to have time and uh, help you troubleshoot your issues as well. Um, okay, so you've got this detected. Um, for uh, just this quick installation video, I'm not going to go into uh, making profiles. This is something you should look into as this will help um, with some of your proper settings, calibrating, adjusting IPD, things like that. Um, for, but for just beginning functionality, we're going to skip that part. Um, the important part of opening this was just to make sure that it detected it. For the next part, you're going to want to go ahead and launch the Oculus World demo. And you're going to see that obviously uh, it says press F9 for full screen and Rift. And you're going to know it's, one, it's working if you pick up your Oculus Rift and obviously it starts tracking. Um, and uh, that's basically it. You're up and running. Um, put on the Rift uh, and uh, enjoy the next generation of gaming. I hope this video helped you out. If it, if it certainly did, make sure to leave a like and a comment below. And make sure to uh, go ahead and subscribe.